Hey, what's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about doing fig tree cuttings. I mean, it's so simple. You ain't going to have wet moss and all this elaborate stuff just to make a tree root. Come on, you know? This is what I do. Uh oh. Yep, neighbors. Alright. Take a cutting off a fig tree. Right here. There it is. Wait a second. There. Take a stick right off a fig tree. And I have a bottle that I have good potting soil in. You know, compost pot. I don't like to use these little green pots like this. I like to use something like a Coke bottle clear to watch my um, rootings take and I can watch how, the, how they progress. But I use a box. You know, box like so. And I use wet newspaper. And you see roots there. There you go, there you go. roots. There. You see your wet newspaper over top of it. I have a bunch of these guys in here. And everywhere you see a little dot, like this little dot is going to be a root. And so. That's all you do, you throw them in your box, have your good garden soil on top of them, and you just cover them all up. You can hit it with a Mr. Uh, spray miles along your water hose. Works perfect. This little guy here, I'll put this off a fig tree in the backyard, I'll show you in a minute. I'll bring it to my box. Now just throw him in here, throw him in the box, cover him with newspaper. And then back here in the back, I'll show you the fig tree that they come off of. This guy here is about dead. You look, see, this is the one that a cutting I took two years ago. This is the one that was taken two years ago, and it all started with just this piece here. My, piece of the ground he comes up and it's like right there at the top it's only this big this is much look see all that that's breaking off that's breaking off pretty easy all that at the top but all this is my new growth off that cutting and all this is dead so what I did was the piece I showed you in the box we placed the box is this big. He was putting off down here at the bottom, so I'm gonna cut him off. And here's one that has already started to I scratched it earlier so I can show you that how it milks the top. It's still alive at the top. It's still alive and feel it's ready to go. This here it bends real easy. He's still alive. This piece here all the on the other hand is dead so just because it looks dead don't mean it is dead you know you still have a bunch a bunch of cuttings off this one tree that will come up you can use but that's all you do you take your cuttings and you, some from a tree like that and you just cut it off you ain't gonna have peat moss you wet peat moss and mr nozzles and you, all that stuff just a good uh a good cutting. You can throw them in the box like so. And you get roots like, you know. And as it starts to root, you put them in a the bottle like this. Now you can watch your um, roots form and progress. And you can take in, when that fills up with roots, then you transplant them. Until then, leave them in the bottle and um, mist them with water, you know. And another thing is, you can just take this one cutting like this. You can take one cutting like this right here. And you can put the whole thing in this pot like that. Stick it in there like so. Because you see, those little dots are roots starting to come on to your plant. Alright. 
after you do that, you stick it in there and just fill it up to the top with soil so you have that much plant in the bottle. It's gonna root. It's not gonna not take, you know, it's gonna root. You can that's why I don't I, I'm just rough with these things. It's a, it's a tree, you know, you learn this stuff in third grade. You need soil, light, and water is all you need to grow a tree. Grow anything really. Look at here, it's, it's October and I still got bell peppers almost four or five foot tall. And they'll stay right here as long as you cover them up in the winter time. You still have bell peppers next year and the year after that. Just take care of your stuff. But that's all you do here. You just actually go ahead and throw him in the bottle. He's done. You know, watering. As a matter of fact, I'd want to put him up to here in soil, but I want my roots to stay at the bottom. I want this thing to branch out. But for your fig tree cuttings, all you have to do is put them in a box like this, cover in wet newspaper, and then. Put this whole box into a garbage bag and mist it. That's all you do. Put, cover your roots up. Make sure your roots are well covered. And that's all you have to do. These pots are good to use. These pots are good to use. I'd like to see my progress as I do. That's, uh, that's the whole thing. You don't have to have a whole, a whole lot of um, experience to grow anything. You know, It's going to grow regardless of what it is. As a matter of fact, the big tree back here that I showed you, the big fig tree, was actually a stick off of a tree like this. It was dying, and I took and um, air layered it. But I air layered it in, I think it was uh, June. But what happened was that milky sap right here, the ants love it. The ants got inside my bottle that I had on the tree while I was trying to uh, get my... Um, uh limb to air layer inside the bottle on the main tree itself the ants got in there and, and it ate at the roots but i put that one bottle into it mean, that one stick into a um flower pot actually it's a five gallon bucket but i packed wet peat moss around it and two years later i have a decent sized fig tree it's going to put off next year if it don't put off this year but it's already october so I'm looking at next year, I do believe. But that's all you need to do. But um, thanks for viewing. Talk to you later. Bye.